I don't know if the adage it's kitchens and bathrooms that sell homes is entirely accurate. I know I've been more than swayed by roomy gardens and handy locations in the past, but any excuse to go on a great kitchen hunt, plus later, the best house on the market this week. Now, New South Wales has its fair share of baking beauties. From the restrained grace of this Hargrave Street Paddington Terrace, love the flow to the garden, to the deep marble benches at 15 the Boulevard San Susi. Seaside properties such as 28 Marine Parade Maroubra tend to be more white on white, while inner city such as this Roselle home are more graphic, contrasty and slim lined. But then Sydney has an eye for a big view and this home, this remarkable property at 55 Seaforth Drive in Seaforth, well there's your design statement right there. Asking for $7.8 million, this home demands more than one inspection. It's only come on in the last week and Agent Glenworth told me that in just four days they had an offer right there on the table with people flying in from overseas to cast their eyes over it. But you can't do kitchens without taking a long, hard look in Melbourne. From the striking parquetry at 8 St George's Crescent, blonde timbers are enjoying the spotlight at the moment, as seen here in Bell magazine featured Middle Park. We'll peek at that bathroom for that property next week, you won't believe it. However, there is an absolute star property from Victoria that I'm frankly saving to the last. So stay tuned, as they say, to have your architectural socks blown off. Before that though, and Gardeners Bay in Tasmania. In a secure estate, this home has more than its fair share of beautiful aspects, as does the Hobbs Avenue property in Dalkeith WA. Huge room volumes are capped off with wide open architecture. But City Beach, also in WA, takes a more low-key approach, blending rather seamlessly into the living area with lots of wood panelling. Whereas this kitchen in Beaumont, South Australia, is used as the bridge between building eras in this colonial classic at 14 The Common. Again, fantastic parquetry, so yummy. Okay, are you ready for the big finish? Honestly, I have to say this is the most impressive home on the market in Australia this week and I would venture for the whole year. 6 Benson Avenue in Turak took a couple of years to construct with much of that time waiting for the breathtaking imported feature materials to be landed and installed. From the exquisite glass floors, truly glass, that reflect the expense on every level to the bohemian crystal chandeliers. In fact, the lighting everywhere is superb. And according to agent Anton at Dingle Partners, almost anything can be electronically controlled. And the kitchen, after all, that's where we started. The kitchen, are you ready? Not only is it an absolutely unique layout and design, it features the best and the newest in features, including a suite of solid stainless steel sculptural Gagano series 400 appliances, which feature touch sensitive doors. You wouldn't see much change out of $40,000 for this wall alone. The bedrooms, sublime, and the dressing rooms, come on, this is just out of this world. And again, the mosaics, breathtaking bling everywhere. You knew the bathrooms would be out of this world, and guess what? You're right. Gorgeous stonework, gleaming glass walls, and more wizardry capped off with techno pizzazz. The cigar room, a melange of styles. There's a cinema, a pool room, and the actual pool. Well, wait for it, that has its own cinema. Honestly, what a property. How to put a price on this? There is no comparison. I guess you start off at 10 million and you go up from there. Six Benson Avenue Turak, an experience in design you will never forget. More next week, see you then.